Question number 9. The table below shows the values of T and the corresponding values of H for a given relation. So T we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. H we have 8, 8 4, 2.7, 2, 1.6, 1.3, 1 1.1, 1 .1. and 1. A. On the grid provided, draw a graph to represent the information on the table given. Uh, you get two marks. So we have the y axis, H representing the y axis, or y axis representing H, and T on the x axis. So we are going to plot the values of T with the corresponding values of H. So we start by, we already, our our grid is labeled so we start with when uh, t is 1 y uh, h is 8 so we put a mark there uh, when t is 2 uh, h is 4 so that's where we have our next mark uh, 3 it is 2.7 2.7 is there uh, 4 it is 2 4 it is 2 there uh, 5 it is 1.6 1.6 is uh, there 7 it is 1.1 1.1 is there one small square represents 0. Uh, 0 0.2 uh, so we have 8 it is 1 so to get the graph we will need to join uh, the, these points to come up with the graph so let's do that so with your free hand you join the points you come up with the graph and that will be able to give you uh, three marks but B or two marks not three use the graph to determine correct one decimal place the rate of change of H at T is equals to three so the rate of change is the same as the gradient so what we do is uh, since it's a, it's a curve we draw a tangent at this point and then we calculate the gradient of that tangent so let's have the tangent so using a ruler you make a gradient like the one i have here and then you calculate the gradient so we take two points like we take uh, the point uh, six and zero uh, this is this point you can take another one like uh, at two we have uh, we have two and this is three point seven so calculate the gradient gradient is equals to my uh, 0 minus 3.7 divided by uh, that is 6 minus 2 which is equals to minus 3.7 divided by 4 is equals to 0 0.0925 so because we are told to write gradient in one to one decimal place this is 0. Point uh, one so that is a, the rate of change of h at t is equals to three and you get four marks